Hello ladies and gentlemen, um, before we even start and I start talking about um, me and what we're doing with this channel, give this guy a go, the Sots Press. So from a squat you're going to try and press overhead either in a snatch grip or a clean grip. That will really challenge your hip, knee, ankle mobility and obviously your shoulder mobility as well as your shoulder stability. Give that a whiz. Um, but yeah, so what am I doing commentating and why are you watching this video of me lifting weights over my head? Well. The fact is most of you are on this channel from the stuff that we did with Rugby Muscle. So that was myself and Alex. Um, rugby muscle, Rugby-Muscle.com was our site. And I'm going to talk about that in a sec. But firstly, let's just talk about this snatch miss. I just want to explain that because obviously you could just see me there. made the first two lifts on 103. But this one, I got a bit carried away. And as the bar comes up in some hips, I throw it a little bit far out, which leads to me landing a little bit on my toes too much. All of my weight goes forward and there's no stability there and there's no possible way I'm going to catch that and make the snatch. That was my last snatch attempt for that day. Um, yeah, and it was pretty dreadful. Anyway, um, going back. Yeah, so most of you would have seen us this come to this channel from Rugby Muscle. Um, that site no longer is functioning. We don't. We, me and Alex have stepped away from that. We are now both coaches on the Rugby Dump Academy. So if you're a rugby fan, you'll have heard of rugbydump.com. Um, we have our own strength and conditioning and actually full rugby academy with skills and stuff there as well. So if that's something you're interested in, I'll put a link below and check that out. But yeah, this channel is now TJ Strength. So it's about me and my journey from rugby or still in rugby, but also into Olympic style weightlifting and potentially powerlifting and any other pursuits I decide that I'm going to do. But my channel and it's about like what i'm doing in my life there's still gonna be a ton of tips because as i go through life i find tips and i try to help as many people as i can with that and i also still do offer online training and the stuff through rugby dump as well so i'll upload as much as i can to help you guys out but this is more going to be about me and what i've got going on so let's take a second to explain where i've come from and what i currently do um i am still a rugby player i just don't uh, have as much commitment to rugby as I once did. I mean, it was a big part of my life. It was probably the main focus of my life for over 10 years. So I'm just taking a bit of a back step now to focus on the strength and conditioning, the personal training world, and the sport of weightlifting, which I took up uh, just to help rugby. But having done my British weightlifting course, I really do enjoy the sport and I want to compete in it as much as I can. I've already competed once. Uh, I'll, I'll talk about that another time, but um, yeah, my strength coach background has pushed me into doing this sport, and I and I absolutely love it. I, I my training isn't just about weightlifting, though; it's also a bit of rugby specific. So I've been having to video my training anyway for my coach. So I figured, why not just keep putting these videos up onto the YouTube's so that you guys can see and like if you can get any ideas, any advices that I can give you. Well, then that's just going to be fantastic for you guys. Here I'm doing doubles after finally getting up on my snatch. So last week I just did lots of heavy singles. I did then this week was just the one heavy single followed by attempts at doubles at 95. And I don't know what I was going was going on in my head today or on this day, but I just couldn't seem to get these doubles. I could never get the second rep. So one rep was always good, and the second rep every single time just kept falling forward and it was pissing me off and i suppose that's that's the thing that um sort of attracts me to this sport of weightlifting is it's so so damn hard that you know one week you think you're doing really well and you're smashing the lift and you feel great and then the next week you feel a bit beat up and the lifts get the better of you and you, you've just got to keep turning up you've got to keep putting in the work days there'll be crap days but for every crap day there's also hopefully a good day as well and this um channel is hopefully going to highlight a bit of both of those because <laughs> let's all be honest on the instagrams all you see is all the good stuff but i want to make sure that I, I video everything that's going on and i'll try and as best i can to load it up i'll also be doing the nutrition stuff so the most popular videos on this channel are my full days of eating i'll bring them back because it's quite interesting to see me on a bulk at the moment and that's all well and good and you can get to see me eating, well you don't get to see me eating, but see all the foods I'm getting through at the moment. It's changed a little bit. And yeah, basically this channel is going to be about me and what I've got going on. These are my last sets of clean and jerks. That was two cleans and one jerk. And then I finish off with 
one clean and two jerks. Quite interesting to see how the programming works as well. Um, and what I'm interested now in is if you guys are liking this format and liking me commentating over the video, I'll do the cliched uh, comment commentary in the car just before I start or after I finish as well. I'll do that after, but comment below. Let me know if you enjoyed this video, if it's helping you, and if you're interested in seeing more stuff like this on the channel, then I'll be glad to do it. Cheers.